Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to do like a watch me work type of video and I'm going to do a full manicure, um, remove the polish, do a full manicure and then apply um, this polish. So this is a brand from Poland that I just picked up and apparently the quality is very good and the brushes are amazing so we're going to try it and we're going to test it, how it wears. So I'm going to give you um, results in a few days on Instagram. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you how this uh, polish lasted. So last time about a week ago, this is actually seven days. So a week ago we did this polish. Actually, this is base coat and top coat two in one. And the Catrice is called More Than Nude and it's called Shine Pink Like A dot dot dot. So these are the results of the polish, first of all. I'm actually quite impressed because my mom is doing a lot of cooking and and washing dishes and everything else and there was barely there was really no free edge wear which is shocking actually mind you she has a very strong nails but still there was a little bit of bubbling on this top coat and um, we did use a quick dry spray we used the drops on this hand and then a quick dry spray on this hand hmm interesting so there was just a little bit the surface is not as you know smooth as gel obviously there was a little bit of lifting here from the cuticle maybe i went a little bit too close who knows there was just tiny bits of little, little chips but that's about it not bad now in regards to the actual manicure so on this hand for the last three manicures i've been doing like a traditional manicure with a cuticle remover and on this hand i've been using the electric file and a very fine bit and I'm, i was doing this very very gently so you know some people have a theory that the electric file manicures they make the skin grow back thicker and obviously that can be the case if it's overdone or if it's you know the skin is kind of excessively removed or exfoliated but this seems not to be the case because as you can see that there's better progress on this hand than this hand um so I don't know if this is coincidence or not. I'm going to go back to the first video and kind of see how this hand looked before we started doing the manicures. But I think this time I'm going to just use the electric file on, on both hands and kind of see how it looks uh, in a week. Okay, so let's start by removing the nail polish first. I'm using pure acetone here and just kind of pressing down on the little pad so it makes a connection with the polish. And now you can just press on the nail, press down without going back and forth and pull it down. And if there's a little bit of polish left, I just leave it behind and get it next time. Because especially if you have a, a dark color like a red it's going to kind of flood the skin around make a big mess so this way the acetone has a chance to kind of penetrate the polish a little bit so it kind of gets all the way down and you can remove it easier Acetone is a little drying to the skin, but considering, you know, that you're doing it once a week or something, it doesn't really matter. I find harsh soaps or water in general are more drying to the skin than that acetone once a week. Okay, 
Now there is barely any nail polish there, so it's safer to kind of go in little circles. Okay, so first I'm going to shape the nails. I'm not going to shorten them too much because the length is pretty good. So what I'm doing here is I'm just separating, really, the proximal nail fold, which is the living skin that you see me pushing back, this part, from cuticle, because cuticle is this part that's left behind. See this white piece? That's cuticle. And when this skin is cared for, and it's moisturized and um, creams are used, it does not really stick to the nail too badly and it's very elastic so it kind of bounces back and eventually um, it will kind of receive a little bit more I know I repeat myself quite a bit but I still get a lot of questions about that so obviously you know people are still need the information so I'm just pushing it as far back as I can because I had one viewer asking that she has like this skin is like overlapping the nail by two millimeters okay so this is like one so or like here it's like this is get a millimeter yeah okay yeah this is like one millimeter so hers is two so just push it back as as, as much as you can without really digging with this tool under the nail because that's not really safe And eventually, like you see here on this hand, I don't know why, but this hand has a better results. And if someone has that area overgrown because they've been cutting it or filing aggressively or picking at it, uh, using creams after each time you wash your hands is very, very helpful. And um, using the carousel, I really recommend it at night it's kind of like a Vaseline thickness cream. Um, I don't have it here, but I have it. Uh, I talk about it in my previous video and live, which I'm going to link below as well. Um, and that cream has urea, which is very moisturizing, and it ha has also salicylic acid, which also helps in exfoliation. So when you use that cream on a regular basis, then that skin will improve big time. All right, so I'm going to use this a little bit. This one is a uh, sanding band. It's a f um, fine one. I'm going to use this electric file that I actually received from Melody Susie. Uh, and I actually like it. For nails, for a regular manicure, is, is good enough. It's powerful enough. And I use it on just five, which is very, very low. And you can see what I'm going to do is just kind of um, remove the little excess callus that sometimes forms here but not really the dryness because one thing we have to understand and i know i'm repeating myself but it's really important that we're not here trying to remove dry skin because dry skin can only be um, corrected by using uh, proper creams right and not by filing because if you have dry skin on your face you're not going to try to file it off right you're going to usually use um, nice creams to to protect that skin so it's just kind of to refresh that area and just exfoliate it a little bit very very lightly you can use fine um diamond bit well or medium for this part as well but sometimes i use this 
sanding bend because I like it. Again, if this looks dry, that's fine. You're not gonna, you don't really, you really don't want to remove the dry skin. You wanna just kind of refresh it a little bit. And that's it. usually kind of go like this but to be under the camera we have to kind of twist a little bit Hopefully you can see it and by doing this you are preventing sometimes these little hard pieces that people tend to pick on um, and done on a regular basis like once a week or even once every two weeks it really makes a big difference. These hard pieces just don't bother people then as much. But again, the creams and everything else are the key. And now I'm just going to remove that cuticle area or that cuticle that's stuck on the nail plate. And this is feather like touch. So this is not removing. And this bit is also very, very gentle. Um, still a very low speed on number five or six. And you know, consistency is the key, just like in anything else in life. When you're doing something consistently, you have much better results than just kind of going crazy for a short period of time. So people need to understand that this requires patience and consistency, manicures. It doesn't happen overnight. Just a good skin or a good, you know, figure or a good, working out kind of uh, routine takes time to perfect right so i'm going to push this one back a little bit more gently
And I do have to say that I see um, some people when they are doing these type of manicures that they are pushing the skin like really, really aggressively and then they use these bits to kind of go underneath that skin. And you know, I just kind of, I think personally I feel that it's not the safest technique and I see that done with much um, higher I RPM on the machine. So there was way more dust kind of flying around and that dust is not necessarily cuticle, but looks like a, a nail because the, the nail looks a little overfiled. So again, personally, I don't think it's necessary to do this. You just need a little bit of patience um, with this gentle technique and you will have good results. But yeah, like they're not gonna be those kind of, you know, um, results that you sometimes see from the so-called Russian manicures because they really separate the skin and they really um, exfoliate this area a lot, which I, I, I understand why they're doing this, but I think clients sometimes, they think that that's what fixes their problem is that kind of technique, which it doesn't. What fixes the problem of hard and um, dry skin is to protect the skin, not really to go to town with, you know, machines. So this is a gentle um, enough to kind of for you to see a difference, but like I said, can't repeat it enough that people need to use their creams and protect their skin so it looks better. All right. So this is as far as I'm going to go. Just hold the skin back to get into this little groove. And before, because I already removed this shine from the natural nail a couple times before, um, I don't, I'm not going to do this right now. And usually with electric file, this area is smooth enough for me to kind of um, polish the nails without any snags. I'm just going to double check this nail, this side. Just going to lightly do this again. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to just spray some prep on the piece of gauze. So I know sometimes what you see is that people spray this um, and that's how they dehydrate the nail, but I find scrubbing it like manually plus using the, the, um, the prep is much more effective because sometimes you have dust or a little bit of cream, although I ask people to wash their hands, but sometimes it, the cream kind of hides in the, the little folds. So this is much more effective way of really kind of scrubbing everything. It's just, just like when you wash the floor, you don't just spray something on it. You first sweep it, obviously, and then you wash it with, you know, something, some kind of a mop. You're putting some elbow grease into it. So I know at this point, some people use cream or or oil and all that, but I find I prefer to to polish the nails when they're completely dry, when there is no cream kind of hiding in these little crevices. I can see better that way, but... And then, because usually you would have to remove that oil anyway, so to me it's kind of what's the point. But some people like that technique. Maybe it's more relaxing, so it's really up to you. Do whatever makes you happy. Just see, okay, so we see this is cuticle. This is cuticle. This is living skin. Although it looks sometimes dry and a little damaged, it's living skin. It's not dead skin.
Okay, so here it is. Um, I haven't used this brand before, so this is new. So it's eight millimeters. So it's not um, it's not that big. The bottle looks bigger than it is, and it's made in France. Well, it's made in EU. Oh, so it's Eveline. Eveline. Okay. Anyway, so it has a beautiful brush. Let me know, guys, if you know this brand and you are like not in Poland. Because I don't know if it's a brand from, from Poland or everywhere in Europe. Like this brush is really, really good because it's thin here, you see? And it's nice and round over here. The brush makes a huge difference. So this brand does not need a base coat apparently. And to be honest with you, I prefer to polish nails uh, with these type of polishes. Because I can put more pressure on the first coat because the base coat is not dragging. Finally, I got this little fluffy that I felt.
best luck. Mm. Ale na, na video to muszę mm. pokazać, jakby ci mogę tego włoska. Eveline Cosmetics sourced from Nielsen Retail Audit, total Poland, including discounters, drug sales items, X2019, blah blah, sales value in the category total color cosmetics. So, okay. So, to be honest with you, we're, we don't have a clue if this is a top coat or if it's a clear nail polish. So we might do one hand without the top coat or clear nail polish and one hand with. But first I'm gonna just clean them up a little bit.
teraz to zrobię. Mm -hmm. Co mm -hmm. jeszcze będę Okay, so we have no idea if this is a actual top coat of this or this is a clear nail polish. So we're gonna do one hand with this top coat slash nail polish and one without. Um, and then see what the results are and um, check out our Instagram page for the results. I'm gonna post them tomorrow how they dry. And you know what, as a hint for the companies, it would be a good idea to kind of uh, make it very clear if the product is, maybe it is clear, maybe it's just a clear nail polish. So maybe they are clear and I'm just expecting too much. But even on a nail polish, it doesn't really say if um, base coat and top coat are necessary. It would be good to have that on a bottle. Oops, it's very, very thin. So I'm kind of thinking this is a, uh, a nail polish, not a top coat, because sometimes top coats are a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. But initially polishes look really good and shiny, but once they dry, they kind of lose that shine. So initially it's, you're like, oh wow, it's, it's so shiny. The next day it kind of isn't as shiny. So they do usually need some kind of a top coat. the other hand yeah it's not super shiny this hand but we'll see how it dries and how they look and we'll see also if they um, last seven days as promised on the bottom okay we'll keep you updated so that's it for today thank you so much for watching bye mm -hmm.